random number. I'm not going to say where that person's Great. located. And who docks some poor so kid that had up, nothing man. to do with Moon Man? You. You're bringing up a point that's not even relevant. There's no point here. How is it not relevant? You're, you're, not you're relevant. doing the exact same thing. The relevance is right. hypocrisy. The relevance yeah. is hypocrisy if you can't comprehend that, Chris. Vado, let me tell you something, man. You can get over your heart on on me, man. Just There's no such thing, but you? please yeah, continue yeah. to think that. Please continue to think that. That's, is, that's pretty disgusting, actually. Focus this on your this project. Is the most and focus on your fucking community. Chris uh, wait, excuse world. me. And you're talking about a project. Chris, uh, I have some information that you're trying to release a token. So let's let's talk about that. I'll talk about what I want. Is that true? Yes or no? Is that true? Yes or no? Talking to me. I don't owe you shit. Quit is that true? Yes or no? I don't owe you anything. Is that true? Yes or no? Quit asking me stupid questions. Is, oh, yes or no? Give Beto off the mic, man. I don't have time for this clown. You all should put your tokens together. I don't have time for this clown, dude. That's breaking news. You don't have time Chris for the Harris, truth, Chris. You, you, you like to run away. Right. You like to intimidate people with your lies. Shut the fuck up. Are you and Goldberg still friends? Okay. 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 Come by. Listen. Listen. I'm going to say it for you. Let's be humans. Thank you. Right, let's coexist. You know, let's try to shy away from the personal attacks. Let's try to keep it ahead of the peace pipe, guys. Yeah, this, this space works really well Real when we're not attacking each other. It Real does quick, fall though, apart if we shout over each other like Matt's doing to me right now. After DeFi Todd goes, because he has his hand up. Oh, never mind. He's no longer trying to get up. But Jizz Harris, if you do want to come up, you're welcome to come up. Uh, he was trying to get up for a while there. Yeah, and just just for the record, this isn't a attack Chris Harris space. Okay, I'm trying to keep order here. So if you start no, shouting okay. at it, I, I, no, hang on, Matt. Matt, let me finish. If you if you start shouting at him, um, <laughs> I I will I will mute you. Okay, if you talk over him, I will mute you. If he talks over you, I'll mute him. But we don't want that. We want it. We want just a nice space for this Sunday night for you Americans. Um, so let's keep it cordial. Thank you. Yeah, I've got one more request. Can Patron say the plane, boss? The plane. I, I, I got one more request. I want all this three of these motherfuckers to come into the Royal Rumble, and I'm gonna be the first one. Beto, uh, Vix, and I also want Mister Crypto. Oh, I want to slap the shit out of this motherfucker so bad. Damn. So, Whoa, I'll be what? the first why one. So I'll, be, I'll be the first one yeah. in that. Yeah. Hey, why is the one being so aggressive? That's not okay. Wait. No, multi poppy, multi poppy. You're just new to the space. This space is, and, and I, I this, yeah. yeah, this space is a versus space. So uh, with the, the oh, topic okay. conversation, the topic of conversation. It, no, the topic. It's okay. The topic of the conversation initially was who would win, Chris Harris or Addict. And would you believe right now, Safe Win Addict is in the lead with fifty five percent to forty five percent. Everybody, the tweet is above in the bird's nest. It's pinned above. Go. Hate who you would think would win in a fight between Chris and Safe Moon Addict. I have a hundred dollars on Chris to whoop Safe Moon Addict's ass within two rounds, and that's also going to thirty second breeder uh, addict a thirty second breeder to just catch his breath. But that's just me. So cast your vote. That's all that matters. Thank you. you very do, much. Okay, real quick. I do have a little bit of a. I don't know what you want to call it, but he does want me to tell people where he's from. Uh, Chris, I'm sure you're aware, obviously. I'm aware, too. But your source is from Vermont, right, TJ? And, uh, you know, we share the same native land, which uh, is interesting. But um, TJ? I, I just wanted to throw that out there. He wanted me to let people know. It wasn't my immediate intention, but now it's there. Here we are. Wait, I can corroborate say? this as fact, by the way. I speak to TJ literally every single day for hours and hours and hours a day. Hey, anything he wants to speak about is up to him. I'm just not going to share any private conversations we've had because I just don't think that's the ethical thing to do. Good on you. Hey, real quick. Yeah, it, it, if t not, yeah, one second. If TJ wants to come up and talk to him, great. If not, then let's just leave it. Okay. Yeah, sorry, DeFi Todd. Let's go Appreciate it, appreciate it. My question is actually not for Chris. It is for Beto, or excuse me, Beto. Um, can we just set the record straight here? And do you or do you not have a token coming out? And if you do, can I get a pre-sale spot? Thank you. 
Well, unlike Chris Harris, I can actually answer questions. 100% I'm exploring uh, a token idea. Is there something that is developed uh, yet that's ready for market? Absolutely not. So let me just clarify yeah, yeah. something here. I'm willing to answer questions. I'm not willing to answer stupid questions from a guy named Beto. I, I, so I asked you a simple question. Or no, excuse me. I asked you a Nothing question. Nothing about you is simple, dude. Everything about you is. I asked question. you, are you developed? Are you releasing a token? Don't yes or no? That was the that, that was the merit business. of that was it. It's that was it. Your business. What I'm doing and not doing. So he's okay. You're, for the record, you're not answering that question here on this stage. I'm not answering you're, that you're question. You're beating That's around the bush. Good. You're a coward, Chris. Okay. You're a coward. That's coward. what you are. Okay. 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 Well, yeah. so, we'll see who a coward is. So, I I the question. Stephanie, you're Stephanie a narcissist Miranda with a little puppy and Patron that cheerleads you on. That's what you Come on, guys. Uh, yes, Let's get back on track here. Gentlemen, Nancy stop. Hand up, and I wow. think we should give him the opportunity to talk. Anytime well, Jamie wants to step in the ring, we'll see who the coward is. Why well, yeah. well, not to the Royal Rumble, Beto? You well, guys. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Banks, you have the floor. I can't wait to hear that rib-eating voice of yours. Let's go. <laughs> I, I just want to get to the topic at hand, okay? Uh, uh, Chris Harris... You know, over a safe room addict, and I just want to have a prop bet on the side that safe room addict bites Chris Harris's air. Okay, so I just want to throw that in there. Probably eat his ear. <laughs> I won't let him in on me like that. So no, it won't happen. But go ahead and bet it. It's up to you what you want to do. But wait a second. Wait a second. Jizz Harris is back. So if we have anybody that's willing to drop down, I do want to hear from Jizz Harris. Real quick. Uh, I'm here for legitimate questions. I'm not here for bullshit. So if you guys want to oh, bring okay. people up like that, then we can just end this because I'm not here for the. Well, you don't set the rules I, here, Chris. Actually, yeah, you don't I, set the rules here, Chris. No, so I, run I, away I, if you want. I said any rules hey. I want to set. Run away, set buddy. Run away, buddy. Run hey. away, buddy. Uh, 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 um, once again, this is a peaceful space, guys. It's 1 p.m. here. So 3 p.m. here in New Zealand. I'm at work. And I really can't be shouting at people. My boss might fire me. So if you could just keep it peaceful, I'd Listen, really we don't, appreciate we don't that. Gotta bring Jizz Harris up. My only hey. thought was that it's it's potentially another offspring from Chris Harris. He's, he's working on a token, guys. You heard it here first, all right? He's working on a token. You heard it here first. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yo, let me just say let me just say one thing real quick before I dip in. Y'all could knock me down. This this community is so fucking entertaining and so fucking funny, bro. It's ridiculous. We're in a bear market, boys. Bitcoin's going down. It's about to dump. Load your fucking bags, boys. I'm out. Is he shilling BTC? Let's love that. He's yeah, a BTC Bitcoin here? How dare you? Multipoppy, then Darren. Assuming there's not a versus spawned out of whatever Multipoppy has to say. Hey guys, so I I know I'm new here. I just wanted to say this is a great space, Realists, uh, Moon, Matt, and John. You guys are doing a great job. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to ask Chris Harris a question. Yeah, first of you have me blocked, but that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to ask you. You have a strong reputation in in the Safe Moon community. Why do you think people speak so negatively about you all the time? Again, I, I, I consider that a dumb question. People ha have their opinions. They can have their opinions negative or positive. I don't pay attention to it. It doesn't really matter to me. So, you know, at, at the end of the day, man, we do our show. There's people that find value in it. And those that don't, they can have their opinion. That's it. No, so that's a strong answer, of course. And the only reason I ask that is because you, you have a show. And I, I, I'm curious, do you feel proud of the information you put out there? Do you, do you sometimes feel like... Sure. It's a fair question. I mean, uh, I, I'm proud of the preparation that we put in, the time that we put into it. I think that there's a lot of value in what we've done with a lot of people. And uh, if people misunderstand me, that's up it to your It doesn't opinion. matter. I'm done up here. Sorry, yeah. guys. Yeah, really yeah. Just... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, if, if people misunderstand <laughs> me, that's their call. Oh, I don't really worry about that. Darren, Listen, all you fighters, we want to keep Chris up here. Stop attacking him. All right, I have a question. Darren. I have a question for Chris. I'm not attacking you, but um, 
a couple of weeks back, maybe like a month and a half ago at this point, two months maybe, you said that me and a couple other people, I'm not going to name anybody else, but me and a couple other people uh, emailed your work and basically tattletailed on you and that you're going to sue me over it. Um, first and foremost, that never happened. I never, ever emailed anybody's work outside of Twitter. It's kind of like Vegas. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So I was just wondering what what's going on with said lawsuit and when can I expect to be served? Okay, so first of all, what you stated is not even correct. Okay, so there was somebody that sent an anonymous email to my work, which was full of lies, which said all sorts of crazy shit. It said that I was in a Ponzi scheme called Safe Moon. It said that I had invested, you know, over a hundred thousand dollars, which wasn't true. Uh, there was just a lot of BS in that, and there were tweets that were referenced, which included your tweets and many other people in your group. And based on the information I have, I believe that you may have been involved in that. That's all I'm saying. And I said, if it continues, I will sue. That's what I said, because that's harassment. You know, you don't take something to somebody's work and send an anonymous email at midnight on a Sunday. All right. That's just BS. We all know that. So, and I don't think you're the only one that was involved. And, and let me say this, if it wasn't you involved, it was people that you know that were involved in that. You want to know what real harassment is? Real harassment is being told that you've done something that you haven't done, which is what is the case for me. I never emailed yeah. your work. I never texted your work. I never did anything with your work ever. So if you want to try to sue me, like, I think that's really funny. And <laughs> Darren, you please tweet about me like all us. day, every day. Okay. Why, why do you think that is, Chris? Because you have a problem, obviously, because I don't have a problem with you. That's the reality of it. Every now and then I'll respond, respond to the shit that you have to say. But you literally tweet all day, every day about me. I can't consider a guy a man that acts like that. Chris, do you, do you realize how hypocritical that sounds? See, here's the difference between us. I'll admit that I tweet at you a lot. And I do it for a reason. I do it because you, you do it to me constantly as well. And you hold spaces about me. You've literally made merchandise about me, the California snowflake, as you call me, which I think is hilarious. I think it's kind of sad, too, that you would sit here right now and try to tell me that I tweeted you all day when you're literally doing this to everybody all the time. Why do you think everybody's in here right now coming at you? They're not doing <coughs> it to me. Listen to me. They're not doing it to me. Why is that? Listen for a minute. Listen for a minute. You can look at all my tweets and we'll look at how many times I mentioned you and then we'll look at all your tweets. Yours is literally on a daily basis. I hardly ever mention you. Maybe five, six times in the last three, four months. I said that that rap song you did of the Safe Moon Anthem was shit, and I stand by that statement. It was shit. It's and not a rap all, song, but that's fine. You got all upset. Well, no, you have a Safe Moon Anthem, and then you had something where you tried to freestyle, and I said it was a whack rendition, and it was. And then you got your, your you know panties in a bunch about it and got upset and tweeted about me for like fucking two months straight. <laughs> so obviously it bothered you, okay? But I'm not here to offend you. I'm not here to upset you, okay? I really don't have an issue with you at all. I just think you're arrogant. You put out a video saying that you launched me. I thought that was arrogant. I told you. I sent you a text message. I said, dude, you're fucking arrogant. Quit being a crybaby. And the response to me was, okay, if you admit that you're arrogant, then, you know, we're cool. And I was like, fuck you. And that was the end of it. And I moved on. But you just continue <laughs> to tweet every day about me. What does that say about you? It says that I have issue with you being divisive within the community and totally tearing apart the safe move community you're uh, entitled to your opinion bro but just stop oh my tweeting God. About it. Nobody gives i'm entitled to my opinion nobody but yet cares. we're in here right now and why is everybody getting on your case nobody cares, i don't see people bro. roasting me they're roasting you why is that i'm coming for you darren i'm coming Listen, you know, want to roast Darren, this is an open invitation. If you want to roast Darren, Please, get up. Please roast me. I want to be roasted. I could take it. My question is for Darren. When I, I don't, even, I don't even have, I don't even have anything to really say to you or point out to you. I just pointed out the facts. I don't invest my time in you. I don't care what you have to say. Your opinion really doesn't matter to me. So why do you, have, here. you have? Like I came up here. I came up here. Hold on, too, hold on. Chris. Let me finish. <laughs> I came up here because realists asked me to come up here. And I have a good good friendship with Realist. I like Realist. And that's why I came up here. And that's it. I didn't come up here to listen to bullshit from Beto. 
I didn't he, he come up to here to listen to you whine and cry. I asked you questions, Chris. Past. It wasn't bullshit. I just asked you questions. Your questions are shit, dude. Shut up. Nobody because you say you, so, bro. correct? Nobody can I go? You. Can I ask? And you? also, it says the guy who blocks people for liking posts. Ridiculous. Grow up, bro. Hey, you can have your opinion. I really don't give a fuck. There's Grow up, man. You're like, day, what, 45? Come on, to, man. The day I'm going to listen to Beto on anything is the, I mean, come on, man. Nobody okay, respects that's, you, man. that's not okay. coming strong in the mic, though. That's pretty hey, weak. Hey, hey Beto, don't worry Stack about em. it. We're going to put you, we're going to put you in the Royal Rumble, too, Beto. You're going to be the first one coming in. You're going to get slapped like a motherfucker. <laughs> keep drinking the tequila, buddy. <laughs> keep, keep drinking. Yeah. I, keep I want drinking the tequila. <laughs> All right, wait a second. Wait a second. We have 150,000 requests. But I do want to say, Jizz Harris is up here. Jizz Harris, we're going to give you 30 seconds because Chris Harris doesn't like you. Uh, other than that, we have a few requests. So if anybody's willing to step down, we'd appreciate it. Jizz Harris. The yeah, we, we just need about 153,000 free spaces now at this point to get everyone out. That'd be great. Jizz Harris, you got 30 seconds. It's all you. Get yeah, out. so there's a lot of rumors going around right now, Chris, that you have a vagina. I'm just wondering if you could address that. See, this is the stupid shit that I don't have time for. My time Dude, is valuable. Long. If you want to keep bringing up idiots like this, then we can just end this thing, man. Because I don't have time for bullshit. Okay, I got a two-part question for Chris. Um, one, why are you so miserable, right? And then two, right, do you use the same razor that you shave your balls with to shave your head? So, again, this is another guy who I just got to laugh at. Long. Because you're an enhanced man, so I don't know how much harder I can laugh at you. <laughs> BBBT flavors. I mean, you call yourself the bodyguard and enhance, and you you're asking me why I'm miserable, buddy. You are the definition of miserable. Is that safe, Moon Joe? No, Yo, it's his friggin', uh, confuse me and my friggin' cousin. You guys are freaking crazy, bros. But uh, no, I just wanted to come up here real quick. It's been a minute. Uh, I freaking see smart money. I see John Moo, Matt, DeFi, Todd, Vix, the whole family, Beto, Beto, Budo, whatever the fuck your name is. But uh, Chris, I just wanted to apologize, my man. Uh, everybody's <laughs> getting blamed. Everybody's getting sued. All this freaking crazy nonsense. But I got to come clean. Uh, it was me. I emailed your work, but I was, uh, you know, I was eating some gummy bears. Apparently, they were magical. I didn't know it. It was from my nephew. He was 10 years old. Who would have known? I got all excited. You wasn't subscribed to my YouTubes.net. And uh, you know what? I got my feelings about it, but I apologize. And I've started drafting my next email right now just to say I made it up, that we broke up, and I got mad about it, and I was trying to pull you into it, and it's not professional. And to subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. We appreciate you. Uh, P. Safe Moon Rika. We know you speak the facts. We know you bring what you can bring. With that being said, uh, now we have 275,000 requests. So if there's anybody that is willing to drop down, we appreciate it. We're going to go to the first hand we have. Which is the Corey. The floor is yours. Yeah, hey guys. I just wanted to say that the amount of fucking disgusting egos up here is insane. I'm stepping down now. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Always valuable Thanks. insights. Let's in. go. Corey. Man, I, I, I. I thought I was drunk, but th some of these motherfuckers are drunk as a motherfucker in this fucking room. What the fuck? Wait a second. Who was first, Taro or DeFi Todd? Uh, DeFi. Taro, you want to go first? I okay, I'll just answer. I'll do my own. Well, that's, what, hey. that's the kind of spirit I'm talking about. That's pretty good. Right. I'll well, do it right Go ahead, time. Todd. Uh, that's Chris El Patron. I got to give you a stack of them for coming up here, taking all the heat, and you two damn some. Uh, so just, I'll just say that. And my question actually is for Darren. Darren, have you gotten in touch with Don Bailey on the Don Bailey versus Avesto debate or whatever you guys were discussing earlier today and the Affinity AMA? The don't wait, ask the, ask again. Say it again. So uh, earlier with uh, the with the Affinity with the D app, where they had their uh, Twitter space, 
um, you had mentioned that uh, you wanted you were willing to get Dom Bailey and Investo in the same room to talk about their differences and their different projects, and they can air it out once and for all for the people and let the people decide. Have you gotten in touch with Dom Bailey yet? No, I haven't gotten in touch with him yet, but I unblocked Investo Maniac or whatever his name is, um, and I would be more than happy to uh, host a space having them talk. Gotcha, gotcha. Appreciate you. And I will step down now. Hi, guys. Tara, welcome back. Long time no see. Um, I wanted to just really quick before I put my vote on the on the uh, boxing match above, I want to ask, um, you know, before because this is a really big, you know, deal, and I want to ask, you know, which which uh, fighter would be the least likely to lie about his weight class and height. That's the one. That's the one I'm gonna vote for. But no, really, I want to know how many people Chris is accusing of the same thing with the whole emailing his work situation, because it sounds like he's like accused a bunch of different people of the exact same thing. And I'm just wondering, were there multiple emails to his work? Is that why he's accusing so many people or it's is he just going around Tara. whoever? It's yeah, like whoever he doesn't like on a personal level, he's like, you did it, you did it, you did it. Like Oprah, like you get an email, you get an email. Like, I don't understand. He's paranoid. You should know that by now. I remember one time people accused uh, some of my friends and myself of having, I think it was walks and creeks that we like hacked into his pharmacy and changed his prescriptions or something. So, you know, crazy stuff happens. Crazy rumors. get. Well, started. that would make more sense if someone's on prescriptions that might be making them think, or maybe they didn't take their prescriptions. So therefore they're thinking some thoughts that maybe they normally that's wouldn't. So that's what I'm wondering. That yeah, I mean, there are reasons, right? But I'm just curious, Chris, like, just goes around and blames whoever he doesn't like and then publicly shames them. Because I know other people in my DM said Chris was accusing them of emailing his work as well um, and showed me screenshots. Sure. And I'm you, just wondering is, how many people are there. Is, do you is actually that have not a point? what you're doing here right now? Is that not yeah. what you're trying to do here publicly right now, Tara? I'm publicly trying to do what? It looks to me like you're publicly trying to paint someone in a lot based upon messages you've supposedly received and shame them publicly. I mean, I may be fucking stupid, but from my point of view, that's precisely what you're doing. Somebody's no, that's heard. not what I'm, I'm literally hey, asking a question. How many people does Chris believe have emailed his work? It's very point blank. Tara, you know, this is the deal with you. You've been up here three times tonight. Three twice. times. Twice. Okay. Twi Let's call it twice. You've been up here twice, and I haven't seen you make one valid point. And you just well, you were just accused. No, it's just strange because you were just on, accusing the last gentleman of emailing your work, and then I have a woman in my DM saying you accused her of the same exact thing. So I'm just wondering how many people are there that emailed your work? Okay, so in your somebody, mind. So somebody sends you a DM, and you just take that as like fact right that i just no i am literally time. asking you chris that's, that's why right. i'm here you're, asking no, you this is exactly up, what happened the first time you're, i'm you're asking you a very something. very easy question how many people emailed your work do you believe it was more than one or was there one email and you're just accusing multiple people of the same exact thing there was a group of people involved in that it's that simple you know and i just okay. don't understand why you want to come up here and continue to have a conversation. There's really nothing we need to talk about at this point. Okay. It seems if it's something you don't want to be public or publicly talk about, but you were the one who was just blaming the last guy for doing what I'm asking about because there are other people who took the same blame within Sarah, the safety you came room up community. And asked me a question and I answered it and it's none of your fucking business. So why don't you just step okay. down? Seriously. Real quick, real quick. Uh, you know, real Chris, Chris, real Chris, chill, 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 man. Don't, like, wait that a second, was wait. So, so we're getting personal again, right? So let's do closing statements. And then we have, once again, another celebrity in the space that we do want to hear from. After we hear from the celebrity, we're going to go to the hands. Or we're going to start with Tara, then we're going to go to Chris, then we're going to celebrity. Go ahead, Tara, the floor is yours. 
I think it's a little bit um, silly to say that it's none of someone's business if you're doing this in a public manner and you're sort of trying to, de- you know, depreciate people's value and claim that they did something here very publicly without them, you know, really having a way to defend themselves. While I know that you're also accusing others of the same exact thing um, and not say something. So I think it's a form of bullying and it's something that I don't stand behind. Like in the past, I was very much, you know, team Chris and I guess here right now, very publicly, not privately. I want people to know that that is just not a thing anymore. Um, it's unfortunate, but I want to be very clear that I do not support bullies in this space. I don't care, uh, if it's safe moon, I don't care if it's any crypto community, any investment community, I think bullying is wrong. And I think trying to control the space uh, for your own narrative and your own sake is wrong. Investing is open to anyone. Anyone can have a voice here. Anyone, off, anyone can have a voice here. Anyone can step up and create a platform. Anyone is welcome to invest in SafeMoon. And Chris Harris doesn't have the control to say otherwise. So don't let him hurt your investment. Somebody's hurt. Thank well you, said, Tara. Somebody, Thank well you, said, Tara. He's a, he's a coward. That's oh, what he is. Well, like Tara, it was- Ta- Tara, thank you for that. That was, that was excellent. Chris, um, over to you to uh, to wrap, wrap, wrap up your thoughts around the subject. The wrap up. First of all, wrap I want Beto off the mic because he keeps interrupting. And you know, this is not your space. If you don't like it, you can leave, buddy. Um, let Chris okay. wrap, wrap it up, please. Yes, we're going to do two things. I'm going to ask Beto, please stop interrupting. And I'm going to ask Chris not to ask for him to be removed. All right, we're going to even out on that one. Chris, you got the final statement here, and then we're going to go to Carly. He needs to be moved off the bank because he keeps interrupting in the middle of me. Negative. Negative. You just did. Remove, move him right. off the mic. Leave him if you'd like. Just here with this shit, dude. Dip this out. Bullshit. Run like you, you always do. Out. Bad Bad out. You get out. Fall back. Fall back, Beto. I, I agree not to interrupt, all right, Matt? I can, play by, I can play by the space as well. Thank you, Beto. Appreciate Shut it. up. Look. This whole, you know, Tara doesn't agree with me, you know, acting like something didn't happen. There was a group of people that emailed my work, emailing anybody's work or interfering, trying to interfere with something. First of all, lying. That's defamation. That's libel. It's in written form. It is actionable. Dam has seen the email. Dam has the email. Okay. I'm not making anything up. It was sent to, to my employer. That's not ethical. That's not right. There were certain specific tweets were, that were in there that involved several different people. It was a group of people. Tara coming up here has no knowledge of anything involving that email, just interjects herself in the situation, okay, comes up here and then accuses me of bullying. I'm tired of this left wing, you know, far left agenda that we have here that if somebody has an opinion, it's bullying, okay? There's no bullying going on here, okay? This is not bullying. I'm not telling anybody what to do with Save Moon to buy, sell, hold, anything like that. We have a show. Some of you get bent out of shape about it. But when you get to a certain point where you're sending me multiple DMs at once, and if I don't respond to you, you get upset, at that point, I'm going to block you. I don't have time for that. All right? And I'm not trying to make this you know, public at this point, but this is what you're doing. I mean, you got mad at me because I liked a comment one night in the middle of doing my show. I just don't have time for the high school BS. Okay. Okay. Can we put a wrap up on this for now? Oh, yes. Says the guy who blocks people when they like comments that are favorable. Let's, oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, fuck. Let's, right, wrap right. Right. let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. We're having let's, wrap it up. let's let Carly speak. Yes. That. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna commence that. We're gonna move to Carly, and we're gonna come back to that later on. Uh, and we got Car- Smart Moon, Roy, from and. Moon. Now Maybe representing Complex Finance, please tell us what's on your mind tonight. Hey guys, can you hear me okay? Yep. Oh yes. I always got to ask that question because you never know. Um, so no, the topic is not wrapped up respectfully because I was listed as somebody who apparently emailed Chris's boss. And first off, I would like to make a statement that Patron, I feel you deeply when you say that when your children are messed with, when your family is messed with, it's not to be taken lightly. 
And that accusation that I emailed Chris's boss caused me to have to have a police officer sit outside of my house for over a week, overnight, because of threatening messages that I received. So one, there has to be responsibility if you're going to be an influencer. You have to be responsible for the things that you put out there. Nobody's families, nobody's children's, you know, nobody's kids need to be involved in anything. But just because you don't directly draw somebody into or somebody's child into something doesn't mean that there isn't implications. And I got a question for you, Chris. Did you ever run an IP trace? You know, it doesn't matter if I ran an IP trace. It does matter because you accused me of something. Look. And I'm here to find out. No, not look. I'm not done talking. You accused no, me of you, something, and I am no. here to find out whether or not I know who you was involved back... in this based on uh, all the I tweets invo- that okay, were attached. So, so, so I know who was involved question, in this. So then my and next question for you. There's many people involved in it. Listen, my, no, next listen. Question for, my next question for you is Was I involved in it? Yes or no? Listen, I have my answer. I have my belief that you were involved in it, and I have you're my belief have to that, prove that and You're going to have to prove it publicly. It's yeah. just a belief. He has no evidence, Carly. You're going to have to prove it publicly because I'm not going to sit here and let you tarnish my reputation. No, I'm you not asked me a question. Here. You asked me a question, and I gave you an answer. I didn't come up here accusing you of anything. You asked okay, me a question, you're... and I gave you an answer. Your answer to me was, you know who is involved. So my question is, yes or no, was I involved? I already answered the question. I'm not going to go through this again. Yes or no. I didn't hear I already Carly answered the question, Carly. Why don't you play a rewind? Does it, can on this? anybody you're here not going to come me at me rudely on, on this and speak can to me anybody like this? Here you do me. not have Carly, I've got your back on this. this. I've got your back on this. Can I will counter this motherfucker if I have to. He, he has Man, no idea. Do you guys what I, uh, Carly. 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 I have Okay, guys, look, this space runs really well when there's two people. Um, even when they're talking over to it, it actually still goes okay. But if there's three or four, it falls apart real quickly. And there's now 500 people in this space. And let, let, let's yeah, let, let's just be mindful of them. Okay, thank real, you. Real quick, the Carly versus Chris Harris getting a little personal. Try to keep it, you know, a little bit in in check. After we're done with this, uh, Holly, I see you're trying to get up here. I'm trying to get you up here. We want to hear from you. Uh, but I think we're gonna go to Chris and then. Carly. We had Jared had his hands. He's smart when his hands up for a long time. We get, we, yeah, I guess we can interject. It, it's not personal. She's just asking right. a question and she's not getting an answer. Let's just, let's just make that clear. I provided I, I, an answer. I literally like answer. just want, I, no, no, no. I did not. Okay. So, excuse me. I did not hear your answer. I apologize. So, please respectfully answer me one more time. Was I involved in anything? I said, based on my belief, I believe you were involved in it. I said that, and it was clear, and nobody had a hard time hearing okay. that. You just want me so to say it again. No, 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 okay, hold on, you guys, please let this between be between Chris and I. So, based on your belief, but then following that, maybe prior to, you said that you knew who had done that. And so, that's why I'm asking you for a yes or a no. I already answered the question. You don't like to answer. I didn't ask for it based on belief. Carly, you're not going to speak to me like this. You can sit down. I'm not going to put up with this shit with you. I'm going to fucking speak to you however I want to, bro. That's not the way it works. Guys, 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 we can't do it. We can't do the emotional. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anybody anything. And for the record, it sounds like he's saying yes. The answer to your question is yes. It's my interpretation. Let's do closing statements. Then we're going to do hands. And then once again, we have another celebrity. Oh, wait. And then another celebrity. So let's get to it, Chris. We're going to go smart, then Roy, then Holly on the hands. You see who we got coming up right now, John? Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Chris. Sorry. I mean, no. Wow, wow, wow. There's really nothing to discuss here. I already said what I said. Okay, so let's I'm not gonna have somebody come up now. here and let's go to P Smart us. Moon. P Smart Moon, what do you got to bring to the table? Well, I'm I'm trying to figure out if Chris has the biggest dick in DeFi or if he's a misogynistic uh, motherfucker, and I can't figure it out. So I like to verse Chris. Chris, I'm going to oh, say so. Oh. 
How are you talking? How is that possible? Look, no more personal attacks, okay? You can ask questions. No personal attacks. All right, I'm 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 not attacking Chris. Chris, um, or do you think you're a misogynist? I think a lot of women came up here and tried to paint you as a misogynist, or do you think you just have the uh, biggest fucking dick in DeFi, and that's causing a problem with the ladies? I'm not a misogynist. I have respect for women. I have two sisters. I have a daughter. I have a mom. Obviously, I have good relationships with women. And, you know, people can say what they want to say, man. I just don't have time when people get to a certain point with me. I just don't have time for them. And okay, okay. That makes sense. Listen, we got we to gotta start doing some crazy prioritizing here because we only got so much time with a few people. Tali, then Mark. Then we got TJ up here, too. I mean, this is getting out of we control. Got, I, listen, listen, listen. Real quick. We got Holly. The floor is going to be yours. Then we're going to go to DeFi Mark. And then we're going to go to the all-known, the all-powerful Chris Harris Source TJ. Go ahead, Holly. Your floor is yours. Hey guys, um, I just have a quick question for you, Chris. On um, you, you had said that you don't bully people, so I'm trying to understand how you are not bullying me. Um, I don't know what I've ever done to you personally for you to come after me over, you know, saying I'm a scammer. Um, I, I, I don't really understand why you're personally attacking me, tweet after tweet after tweet. What have I done? I, that's all I want to know. And actually, I have a follow-up question after that, but can you explain that one to me? No one's attacking you, first of all. And let's go back to what the facts are on you. So the first thing is, last year, when we had a disagreement on something, all of a sudden, I'm at work, and I get a phone call. I never provided you my number. Now, you tell me that you called me accidentally. I had your caller ID on it. I sent you a text message. I said, is there a reason you're calling me and hanging up? That happened. So mm -hmm. don't act like and that. what and Hold what did on. I say, Hold Chris? On. Let me finish. Thank you. So for you to call my phone number that I never provided you and hang up on a Saturday and I sent you a text and you played it off and acted like, you know, you, you didn't do anything wrong. I didn't buy that, number one. But then number two. You want to, and I never called you a scammer. Show me a tweet where I called you a scammer. Okay, I can do that real quick. Go ahead. Okay, Second it's one with with the with all of us in Miami. Where did I say Holly is a scammer? Let's get it. Oh, posted. okay. Listen, real, real quick. Real quick. Show me the tweet. To the top, go ahead. Show me the tweet where I called you a scammer. Hold the okay. Don't come up here and make allegations. Show me the proof and the evidence that I called you a scammer. Show okay, posting a photo of me. Email I'm not to your done. boss. I'm not done. And I'm not going to talk <laughs> right. over two, three voices either. Excuse me. Let me finish. Let's go to the facts. Last year in Las Vegas, pictured with Ryan Dunn, Clarissa, and uh, Flavors Ed. This year, I see you at an event with Dell Crypto, and uh, there was one other person. And I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but by association, these are people that have done things with the community that are fraudulent. So if you don't like it, that's my opinion. I didn't call you a scammer. The only thing I said in a reply was that if you were near a project, I would exit it. That's what I said. And that doesn't mean that you're a dev of a project. That means that I wouldn't be involved in a project you're promoting. I have a right to my opinion. That's not bullying. Okay, so, but... Nobody's bullying you. But you're on safe moon. What's wrong with me being involved in SafeMoon? We uh, all are I, involved. I tweet about SafeMoon all the time. Okay. And? So, and? what's, what's the point? difference between taking a picture with BBTF, taking a picture with Ryan Dunn and them? You know what? I look at it as I, I am enjoying myself having fun with these people that I, I am barely meeting. Why am I going to judge them when I haven't seen anything? any facts at all at all about any of these people on what they're doing i'm going to automatically judge them for that no that's not the way i roll it never has been chris and if you want to take you know me going out and having a good time in my personal life as a negative thing that's on you but i don't appreciate you tweeting about me and second of all why are you such a coward that you need to block me and then comment on my tweets please explain that because that is coward yeah of course you want to come in here and raise your voice 
and act yes, like I Ryan's will. Done, yes, I and will, like, Chris, because you like have Ryan. harassed me, me far Don't too much, my me. friend. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let him respond. All, all due respect, but we gotta let him respond. Go ahead, Chris. And let's try to keep it at a civil tone. I get people are upset. You want to come up here and you want to act like Ryan Dunn has never done anything fraudulent. You want to act like Dell Crypto hasn't pushed schemes on communities. You want to act like all these people, yo, it's just a meet and greet. Great. You can meet and greet, but I'm telling you, if you're promoting a project, I'm pulling my money out, period. Yeah, pull out a safe move. Oh, wait, you did. And that's, not, and that's not bullying. That's not bullying. I have a right to my opinion. If I say that I don't okay. like you promoting a project, I have a right to say that. This people is judge based on what they want to judge. And that's the Period. thing. That's this 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 argument is, is opinionated, right? This isn't gonna be based upon facts. You guys don't agree. Uh, if you want to do closing statements, feel free, but I don't feel like we're going anywhere with it. No, and we're not. You're right, Matt. My only cl closing statement is Chris, I would just appreciate you, you know, just go ahead and keep my name out of your mouth and I'll do the same as I always have because I don't care about you. Hey, that's great. But if you didn't care about me, why are you calling me on a Saturday exactly. with a number oh, I didn't even provide okay. you? Hey, Matt, can why I, can I, why did can that I respond to that to actually before? Yeah, I would like oh, to hear that. Yeah. Because Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. We gotta, let's wrap it up though. Yeah, you've, obviously, you can respond. Wrap it up. 30, 30 seconds. But I want to, I'm curious too. Go ahead, Holly. Okay, so this is what really happened. I had gotten, Chris was going after me and the whole Crypto Bulls thing. And it he was going after all of us pretty hard. Somebody from his inner circle didn't like it. And they sent me his phone number. I accidentally, when you get a DM and it's for some reason, it comes up as a link and I accidentally pressed that link and it started calling him. I said, oh shit. And I hung up the phone because I didn't know whose number it was. And so I hung up. Chris then uh, text messaged me and said, did you call me? I said, you know what I did? I'm sorry. I didn't even know who whose number it called and then he accused me of it ringing four or five times and blah 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 and it didn't it rang one time i hung up that was that that is, is the, the honest to god truth that's believable to me chris 30 second response please it rang three or four times she hung up and it had her name on it and i'm not going to publish her name or her number because i don't do that that's also a lie okay it had a caller id where it said holly with your last name and your area oh no Oh no, okay, I know, so but you you went ahead and gave it to all your hold buddies on, to where no, they could call me an ugly me. bitch for the for the past like you, month. You, you keep interrupting. Uh, listen, Chris, you got you, we're gonna give Chris at least thirty seconds, no interruptions, and then we're gonna try to commence this. It's all, all right. And here's the thing too, I'm not trying to like take a side and say the, the argument isn't worth time. I'm just saying it doesn't seem like we're gonna reach a conclusion anytime soon. So let let's do our best to move on. That's at least my perspective. Chris, floor is yours. I'm just providing the factual information here. I got a call. I didn't provide her my number. It rang three or four times. It had her name and caller ID on it. I sent her a text. I said, is there any reason you're calling me and hanging up? And then I got this whole story about how, you know, oh, I didn't mean to call you. Somebody gave me your number. I didn't even know it was your number. I mean, look, this is all childish. I wouldn't call you for any reason. I never provided anybody your number or your information. I would never do anything like that. But why are you calling me and hanging up? This is high school shit. That's it. Okay, did I not just say it was an accident and tell the story? Okay. I don't buy your story. So uh, don't that's fine, Chris. Don't, don't accuse me of you're, bullying. You're, you're you being, you are a bully. That is just, you are okay. a bully. You call me. <laughs> Ran its course, right? I love you both, but it ran its course. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to DeFi Mark, and then we're going to go to the source himself. All right, DeFi Mark, the floor is yours. Yo, what's up, guys? Just wanted to say uh, what a random group of people in this space. Uh, I did not expect to be in a space together on, on Sunday night. Um, I'm guessing it's like, is everyone just against Chris here? Or is, uh, what's the story of the space? I just joined right before, right before Holly got to speak. So the space formed around. The I think idea what you're of witnessing is when one person boxes. speaks out, multiple oh, oh, people come. No. Right, hang on, sorry to put you across across your tower. Um, the purpose of this space, Mark, initially was to just get you know 
people in here and allow them to be real with each other in hopefully a, a polite or as close to polite manner as possible. Um, I don't want this space to be a, an attack fest where people come in and start shouting over each other. I'm trying I'm trying to keep control on that. It is difficult, lots of emotions. Uh, but I am giving everyone the opportunity to come up and talk. And to be fair to Chris, he hasn't run away from from any accusations um, or feelings or, or emotions since he's been up here. So I'll tip my hat to him. But but Matt does like to cut across. <laughs> so no, this isn't an attack space at all. It, but, you know, it, it is allowing people to talk. And, you know, 90% of it has actually been really constructive and great. You know, but some other bits, maybe not. All right, sweet. Also, you guys are a little trigger happy with that mute all button. I've noticed. This no, I'm Either sorry. Button. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's a lot really of people good to, to moderate, you know, but moderate in moderation, you know, it's always a good thing too. Mm-hmm. I just you want to say, say, Chris, you know, you and I haven't always got off on the right foot, you could say, and we've had our differences, but I do commend you actually coming up here and talking to people instead of being in, in your echo chamber. Cause like, I would never have guessed that. So I just want to say, if anything, like that shows some character I didn't know you have. So uh, I'll give you that. That is pretty cool. Don't give him too much credit that we're stroking his ego for like two hours before anyone came up and pushed back on it. So, of course, of course, Ben no, is but... going to come up here and say something. At the end of the day, though, like I would have never hey, guessed, so... it. I would have never thought I'd have the chance to actually to actually speak to myself. So, um, because so, God so knows, real I've quick, I've had a couple you. guys that wanted to come up and speak realist that have been moved down, and Beto continues to be up here and go open your space, Chris. Go open your Chris. own space. No, 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 no. Wait, Chris, let me know if who you If you want me to open a space, I will. I mean, no, we're gonna, I have no we're problem gonna doing get, it. We're going to get whoever you need up here, up here. Let me know who it is. We got Wojak and uh, Excellency Ben that wanted to come up here and speak. They were waiting over a half hour. Uh, let me address Mark real quick. Mark, I appreciate the comment, man. That's a nice thing to say. Uh, I have no problem coming up here, man. What I do have an issue with is when people interrupt and say things and want to throw out, you know, bullshit comments, so. Uh, but if there's anything you want to talk about, we can talk about it. I respect that. Yeah, I mean, no one likes uh, someone coming up and, and losing their mind. Uh, definitely has happened to me quite a few times. Uh, I wasn't really prepared for it to be kind of like uh, everyone on, on Chris or had co- constructive comments with Chris. I can see by the title. I, I guess I should have assumed that. But I don't know. I mean, in general, man, uh, there's definitely been some shit going around, but I haven't really – followed up with much of the drama lately i haven't really been on twitter too much anyway and i muted all the drama words you know that's something i actually recommend to everyone if you just mute the words that you see too often that's associated with drama if you just mute it uh your feed cleans up so nicely um i don't know i've it's been so many months now i think at least i don't know i don't know if you still like say i'm a horrible person and i'm nefarious or anything or whatever else you say but uh yeah, I mean, I, I've kind of just let it go and, and, and gone through it all. But, I mean, if you want to kind of start this one, I mean, you've always had more to say about me in general. Uh, what is your opinion on me? What do you think? I, I just want to hear it from your mouth to my face. Uh, it's something I've never actually gotten to hear before. I've never been able to come up and talk to you man on man, not even over the phone, nothing. So, I mean, I guess it's an opportunity. Like, What do you think of me? Uh, there's a lot to unpack there, man. Talented Solidity Dev. There's a lot of things that you have the ability to do. Uh, there's some things that didn't go right when it comes to Surge. I mean, we don't need to revisit it. I think between you and I, we've said pretty much everything we wanted to say to each other. Is there anything you want to address? I mean, man, I'm, I'm not one to go back in the past and, like, revisit stuff and, and let stuff bother me beyond its its course, you know? I mean, a lot of things you did say did bother me for quite some time and, and did cause a lot of strife and people attacking me and I, I know i'm not necessarily blaming you from the action of actions of others all i'm just saying is there's a lot of people that listen to you man if you're gonna go after go after somebody like I, I know you've done just just i don't know don't listen to one source or two sources you know like actually try to get to the bottom of it yourself and there's nothing wrong with having an opinion i just know a lot of good people that i think were unfairly attacked um so if there's anything i just got to say is just i don't know Maybe get a chance to talk one on one with them and kind of like do some investigative work before you go on go on the path. Because I'm not saying people don't deserve it. Some people do deserve to get, you know, get their their actions shined shined a light on. But there's definitely been some people where it's been a little over over the line. So I'd say that's where that's where the problem is for me at least. I would say the only issue I have with you would be the recent space. I'd say within the last three four months, where you were on with Kark and you claimed that I was. Uh, 
threatening to cross state lines and wanted to fight you. And that's not the truth. And we both know that's not the truth. That never happened. I have the DMs. No, and yeah, I, I do too. You. you didn't, you didn't. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Keep going. So, so let me finish. Uh, I wouldn't fight you because I don't even consider that a fair fight. And I never got to the point where that, I wanted to fight you. So, <laughs> I, so I want to clear that up right now because that was never said. So I don't know if you're insinuating something happened. Uh, you asked me to come to Vermont and meet you. You asked me to speak on the phone with you. I said I didn't have the time for you, uh, but I never threatened to beat your ass or anything like that. So let's not go there. Okay. No. Yeah. I mean, uh, we, we if that's your problem with me, that that's fine. I do have the DM saying it, and you're right. I didn't tell you to come across state lines to beat my ass. You said if I went to where you live, you would beat my ass. I, I do no, have no, those. No, 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 no. Though. no. This is what I said. This is directly what I said. You can publish the DM. You you brought up. You said I've seen pictures of you. I've see, I, I see how you look. You're a tall guy. You're a big guy and all this. And you were coming at me kind of weird. And what I said to you is it would not be a fair fight. That's exactly what I said to you. I said, if you, if you had, you said, I'm not a violent person. And I said, look, dude, I have no problem with you like that. And I said, but if you wanted to come at me, you better bring another guy because it wouldn't be a fair fight. That's what I said. And your reply was, I have more guns than a militia. So there was never any discussion about me coming up to Vermont or fighting you, or having you come here, or anything like that. And you know what I'm saying is true. So don't bullshit me on that, man. No, I'm not bullshitting you. And, and you're right. I never told you to come to Vermont to fight. You never told me to come down there to fight. But you were the so, first one to bring up having a fist to cuffs against me out of the blue. And that's why ahead, I responded with, I'm not a violent wait, wait, wait. person. Go, go, ahead, go ahead and publish the DM, because I have friends that have the DM, and I never brought up fighting you. All right, so, it's on my old laptop. Let me see if I can go it get it. Yeah. The whole thing. Ugh. I I have it too. Just let me know. I'll pull it Mark, oh, you're wasting your time. Man, He's dude. never gonna own it. Okay, he doesn't know what it personal doesn't matter. responsibility like, this, this was his problem with me, own, Chris. If that's you your only problem to... with me, man, if that's your only problem with me, I, I don't I don't know what to say. Um, if you still didn't, if you didn't delete the DMs and you still have them, I just please go back and look. I'm not like I have no reason to lie about that. There's worse things you've done. Like that's not the. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's not my like only go to here, you know. I mean, Mark, I, I just if I if I had a problem with you where I wanted to fight you, I would have fought you. I'd never had that problem with you. I never <laughs> said that I wanted to fight you. I love how you don't you, you know you don't know what I look like. You don't know you don't know my shit. You know what I've been through. But you still think you could be my Mark, ass? It's just I know funny. everything. I'm not saying I'm not saying that you could have could. Mark, I know your I'm identity. I've known your identity for over a year. And I've I know, and you've always gone it wrong, man. Though, like whenever you try to dox people, like no. I don't know, I've never Mark, seen you hit them on the head yet. I know your identity, Mark. All right, cool. Then you you might know my, about my past, and if you did, you wouldn't say that. That's all I'm Listen, saying. Yeah. <laughs> Mark actually adds to the space. Chris Harris removes intelligence from the space. Beto, you haven't made one good point yet tonight, so just keep going, man. Stack them. You had nothing productive to DeFi. Stack Zero. Stack hey, Beto, I can't wait till your project comes out, man. That's Please, goes, feel free. I can't wait till <laughs> can't yours wait, comes man. out, Chris. I can't wait till your project comes out. Can't wait till yours comes out, buddy. Yeah, paper hands okay i wasn't trying i'm not trying to attack you, chris i promise I, I if our debates over this over the tweet man like i don't know i was more saying in general like my point which was just uh attacking other people that that may or may not deserve it myself aside you know i mean i've i've gone through shit i know i've, I've dealt with bullies people attacking me without reason or recourse before so and you know if you go back and this, look at that this DM, is just nerdy crypto on, stuff on. Where's on. if you go back and look at that dm because I was on the phone with TJ at the time. Because I was like, man, this guy keeps sending me messages, man. I don't know what. And I said, I would never want anything to happen to you or Matt or Mark. I mean, I made that very clear in that DM. I said, because you were like, hey, did you come to Matt's house? That's what you said to me. And I'm like, no. I never said that to you, man. I never said that <laughs> you to you. You did. Yeah, you if did. You, if you went to Matt's house, bro, at that time, Matt and I were living together. So you would have come to my house. That's what you said to me. And you and said, I, and not just that, and not to be like harsh, but like we would just we had guns, man. Like it would just, it wouldn't have lasted long. I don't know. It would have been like over immediately. But go ahead. No, I'm no, saying is, bro. Like, like, how would I have? Uh, how would I have? Uh, like, why would I have asked you that? Like, one, it would have been my house. Two, no, it was I would have been just, able to ask Matt. Why would I ask you if you went to Matt's at, house? You can go back and look at the DMs. Post it, dude. Post it at the top, man. That never happened. I don't know. You if accused me of sending me. goons, goons to the house. 
And I'm like, no, there's no, 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 go- no goons at the house. Maybe goons in my DMs. Yeah, man. But that ain't people at my house. Bro. Listen, man, I made it clear in that DM and I'm making it clear right now. I don't have an issue with you. I don't have an issue with Matt. <laughs> I never threatened you. I never threatened you. Hold on. I never threatened you. I never threatened you in that DM. I'm never threatening you now. I don't consider it a fair fight. I don't have a problem with you that comes to that point. And I never did. <laughs> so Listen, man, I'm not one to talk about myself. I'm not I'm not a cocky motherfucker, but I wouldn't say it's not a fair fight, is all I'm saying. Well, let's, let's take just, a break from we this. We can make it run at the point. But okay. I'm not trying to talk about fighting, right? This isn't what this is about. I just want to bring up yeah. one thing then, man. If you've never had a problem yeah. with me, bro. You talked, you had a whole space, several, several spaces, hours, just lying about me, calling me all sorts of names, saying I did all these things that I didn't do, saying I'm a shitty person for XYZ, and I barely got one person that actually could stick up for me up to speak. Not a single other person was able to come up. I got one person come up to speak. He shot down everything you had to say, and you ended up coming at, and you were like, the only thing I have left was the fact that I said I would do my best to pay off the surge fund in 2022. I put it as a goal of mine like a, a new year's resolution and, and you attack happened? me for that and you attack what me for happened? that you continue to attack me it's not the end of the year bro that's all i'm saying your I started my, well i paid off about uh almost two hundred thousand dollars out of pocket chris i remember that space too you said you were going to donate three hundred dollars and all your guys were sitting there like oh my god you're no, an I amazing didn't say I would man donate anything. You asked oh me. my god dude stop <laughs> lying bro i remember that more. Right, let's actually say exactly what he said. What Chris said was he was going to start his own search fund, not only make his own donation, but in, influence his entire community to donate to that search fund so he could, you know, be the one to revive the project. That's exactly what you said. Go ahead. That would be nice. Can we, we all heard it, man. Well, we so, all so heard it. All, so all I'm saying is like, man, like if you're going to ask me where I am with mine, I paid off $200,000. Where are you with yours? He buys high and he sells low. That's that's that's, that's what he does. Hold on. All I'm saying is though, man, I just started. Okay, so I just started up a new company, a new uh, d- development company. We've been Great. doing pretty well. We're donating a portion of all of our profits to the search fund. Yeah, that's I not money investor. from investors. That's not money from anyone. That's our own blood, sweat, and tears, man. And we're doing our best. I paid off two hundred thousand so, dollars out of pocket as I'm a twenty-two-year-old like kid. Amen. So all I'm saying I'm is, this, man, like, all right, I'm gonna give this thing up. ten more minutes. But if I get muted again. When I'm trying to make a point, I'm, I'm off here, number one. Number two, we had people that came up here to speak over an hour ago, and you guys keep moving them back. <laughs> Matt, you want to When are we going to get to the important stuff? Where, where is Don? Well, that's, something, that's actually something spent, I wanted to point out and why I had my hand up is, is that Chris hasn't left, and yeah, I, I commend you for sitting up here and taking some heat publicly and everything, even though you told me to mind my own business, even though this is very public. Uh but at the same time, you've threatened to leave like multiple times. So it seems like the host has to sort of play by. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to meet you. Go ahead, Ricardo. Listen, it there seems like the host muted. is being forced to play by your rules or else you're going to, you know, <clears throat> scram. And that's the thing is this constant threat whenever anyone's making a valid point with you of I'm out of here if you keep doing this. Like, well, why do you have to leave? If Four I mean, times. if you're here to I'm own up to it, why are you so upset? I'm still Seriously. up here. I, this why is my second so time coming up here and I'm still up Wait. here. And I just why wanted to say so how much I wanted to say <laughs> to the women who came up, if in any way you felt empowered by the fact that I came up and, you know, went to blows with Chris. I hope, I hope that did empower yeah, you because yeah, yeah, yeah. the fact is, okay. is oh, women yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. fact yeah. is, oh, is misogyny oh. has no place in investment. I mean, women Misogy. make money too. Everybody's women, misogyny, women. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We got to hear from Tara. Tara's going to finish her point. We're going to stop interrupting her. As soon as Tara's done, we're going <clears throat> DJ, we meant to go to him earlier. So Tara, go ahead. Then crypto you. control. Yeah, crypto you know, control. No one, no one let Chris <laughs> answer my point at all. My, but keep going. All I was going to say on. is it's Tara, by the way, like terrible. Uh, like I'm terrible it's at trading, right. which I buy I buy high and sell low too, Chris. So I, I understand uh, the pain there. But I was just going to say that, uh, you know, I commend other women who may have been nervous otherwise, especially hearing from Holly that, she had a group of people, you know, ta- uh, texting or calling her on her private number and calling her names and stuff. Uh, it's inappropriate. It's not okay. Um, but the truth is, uh, I'm not trying to psychoanalyze Chris or anything, but small men 
have to tear people down to get to their level. Very big men like to lift people up to be on their level. So if uh -huh. someone's above you, they're likely lifting yeah. you up. If someone feels okay. like you're above them, they'll okay. try to tear you down. That's why he continues he to talk over me. Four times to speak tonight. Four times. Get so over it. I don't talk <laughs> to you. There's a reason I don't talk to you. Wait, 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 wait. Chris, it's What's your up? turn now. We're going to finish off with Chris, and then we're going to go to TJ. I'm not then we're moving on. Which we're, I'm just trying to, you know, keep it moving. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. Chris, give we your final. We want to hear from the source, TJ. Listen, man. I came up here. Realist asked me to come in here. I respect Realist. I don't respect the bullshit going on in here. That's the bottom line. I came in here. There was 100 people in here. Now we got almost 600 people in here. Everybody wants to come up here and talk shit. And throw out accusations and say things that aren't true. Tara, I don't even speak to you. You've come up here four times tonight. I've come okay. up here twice. Stop interrupting me. You're allowed to interrupt me. Four times let him, tonight. Let him finish. Twice. I came up here twice, right? And then you're up here again. I mean, literally, like, what is your issue? Just get over whatever your problem you have with me. I'm not going to speak Am about Am I allowed you. to answer? Wait a second. Wait yeah, a second. Do, do, we think, do we think it's going anywhere... Uh... No, that was, no I'm not gonna, that was I'm a not rhetorical question. That was a rhetorical question. Hold on. I'm not going to deal with the thing. attacks, calling me a misogynist, calling me a bully. Let's let TJ talk here, guys. What the hell? BS, man. Yo, guys, I mean, you. Get, I, I, I've I, said one thing about Chris that I, I didn't like about him. I was trying to stay on equal footing, and he doesn't answer at all, and you guys just make him go to the next one. Come on. Don't do me like it's that. Been, it's been happening all night, Mark. All night. The guy can't answer a question, Mark. But, Guys, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. His voice one more time. Chris, Chris, place, dude. Chris, Chris, stop it. It's the most annoying listen, voice. Listen, listen to me. Listen, everyone, listen to me. Okay, what's what? Oh, fuck. So my that wasn't made a muted space, but anyway, it's quite tiresome when people come up. Like this, this is no disrespect, to everyone in the space, but there is um, a lot of like personal issues with an individual that's been aired in a space with six hundred people, and I respect everyone. Trust me, I respect your feelings. I respect all your thoughts. Um, but a lot of the conversations been had, I think, are probably conversations that should be had out of via DM. Or if you're blocked, just forgotten about. If someone's blocked you, that's fine. Trust me, I'm blocked by half of the Safe Moon Army, and I respect them for blocking me. Um, so don't take that's the kind of stuff personal. Um, if you want to talk to Chris about something, then cool. Um, I also don't like the fact that there's this a small narrative in here as well that, you know, we're letting Chris run the space. You know, if he doesn't want something, we move on to the next thing. That's that's not how the space is going. And um, what's kind of happening here is that someone kind of feels the urge to, to express themselves and they're kind of disregarding what was said before them. Not And it's not anyone's fault. This is crypto's high high passion. <laughs> Trust me, we all see it. But DeFi, Mark, if you have a question that you want Chris to answer, please feel free to ask. If not, I really want to hear TJ's thoughts before he drops yeah, out. Really absolutely. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be quick, man. Like, like I said, it's Sunday night. I was watching TV, and someone told me to get in here. I, I got in here. Uh, no, no problem leaving. I'm just gonna, okay. I'm gonna close this. I, I'll, I'll do a closing. All right, like, like you guys were saying before. So, in closing, Chris, like, we haven't had beef in a while. At least I think. I don't know. I've been blocked for the entirety that you've been talking about me. I don't know if you're still talking about me. I muted all the words that pissed me off. So it's it's I got, I got all the bullshit out, out of my timeline, which is good. But I, I just want to close on this, man. I said it prior, but I'm just going to say it again. Just like if you feel the urge to attack someone, please just dig a little bit into them. Talk to them on the phone. Talk to them like a person. You know, most investigators, anyone in the world that's going to pass any kind of judgment on someone at least speaks with them first and hears their side, you know, because I feel like that's something you don't get to do much. And I've seen you attack some really good people. Not not myself. I'm not talking about me. I, I can I'm not a baby. I can deal with people being mean to me, you know. But I'm I'm saying like people like Crypto Control up here, people like Kark, good people in the space that have actually put their heart, soul, and energy into it with not a single bad intention. And I've just gotten destroyed and bullied out and having people attack them, pitchforks, going to their DMs, call them all sorts of names because you had whole segments of your show just spent talking about how they course? were the worst thing in the world. That's all I'm saying. I'm done really now. Funny. I'm done now. I'm just saying that was my closing stuff. statement. I, I just I want to say not, yeah, I don't do condone deep. anybody attacking you, period, or anybody on here or sending you DMs or anything like that. And I've never asked anybody to do that. And you can go back and listen to recordings. And if I had an issue with you, I've made a point of saying that I do not condone anybody doing anything in that manner. 
and you can go back and listen to every single show we've done. Of course, of course. Uh, I never said you condone violence, man. I'm just saying if you call people scammers and say that people are thieves or horrible people, like to hundreds of people, like you got. Don't see it being paid back. We're never going to agree on that. Right. Number three, I Thank never you threatened that. you. I never threatened you. I never wanted to fight you. I had no need to fight you or no desire to fight you. And I made it clear. I made it clear in DMs that I wouldn't want anything to happen to you or Matt multiple times. And TJ was on the phone with me when it happened. So, you know, yeah. let's, let's not act like, like I line. have some issue with you and I want to fight you. That's just not the truth. I, I, I'm not talking about you fighting me, man. I haven't even said that, bro. You brought that Listen, up. You I don't stop tweet about, about that, you. dude. I don't tweet about you. What's, what oh, cool, man. You've only tweeted about me 4,000 times, bro. What I mean, and all I'm saying is if, if your only past, problem with dude. me is the fact <laughs> that I want to pay back the fund, man, let that be your problem. I don't know. Okay. okay. So what he happened? paid me while I'm... I think you, guys you know, don't really hate each other, but you kind of hate each other. We got it. Let's move beyond it and talk to TJ. We want to know what TJ's up to, how he's feeling. Matt said he was the source. It, here's the thing with Mark and, and Chris. It's it's uh, like kind of like the same as, as all the other arguments. It's not like there isn't an argument there. It's not like there isn't something to talk about. It's that it's not going to be like no one's going to reach a conclusion in the next 15 to 20 minutes. That's yeah. at least my perspective. Definitely. There won't be won't be any conclusion and especially when he said that he would pay back the fund within a year and it's been like over a year has to pay it back no it's been a it's that was january 1st man so it's still august i don't know what you're saying if that well, is that yeah, really you, your only problem yeah. with me bro is that really man, your only problem that i'm yeah, trying to pay people it. back quickly this like thing. how much of a baby are you bro go sit I down don't well, call my co-host a baby bro you're I, the I, baby. I'm, oh. the baby. I'm just telling you oh, something man. Said that you were going to pay off the we'll fund. We'll tell you the truth. You don't like it. There's a lot of people who invest in money, and they I paid off two hundred thousand dollars, bro. Let me finish. Let me Great. finish. And what Let percentage of that is what was lost? Let me finish. Let, so, so you said that you were going to pay back people who actually put their hard earned money, which they lost. And you haven't done so. That's all. Now, what about the people that you guys lied to about you're the other exchange? Project, do it. So, if you have a few more months, just make sure you do your five millions back. That's all, bro. I've inv I've paid back two hundred thousand dollars out of pocket. Dude. It's not Man. equal to five yeah. million dollars yeah. that you took yeah, away from you me. You know what? What do you want? How do you want me to make those five million dollars, bro? How, how do you want me to do it? How would you do it, bro? You're gonna keep working at McDonald's? I didn't. I didn't do the project. You were the one who did the project, so you come up with it. I don't know. It's your idea. And I've been doing my best, man. I've been putting a portion of everything I've earned to it. That's two hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna put towards myself. Yo, shut up. I'm talking. We're gonna pay back within a year, and you haven't paid. If we're going to do it, let's at least do it one at a time. Mark, go ahead. Kids interrupt me, man. I can't believe this is the biggest problem with them, that I'm trying my best. I'm literally working full-time DeFi, putting most of my money into paying this thing back. I paid back 2,500 people and fucking $200,000 out of pocket, just out of my own fucking money that I made by working in the space and being a fucking kick-ass developer, helping over 100 projects in this entire space, dude. I've been Come doing on. everything I can. I put most of my shit back into it. So if that's why you want to hate me, man, go ahead. Keep hating, We don't bro. hate you. Because when I pay you that shit back, shit. bro, when I pay that shit back, bro, and I go up, you're not go coming ahead, with me, back. man. I'm going to just be pissing back. from the top. You're getting so <laughs> fucking emotional. Just pay the fucking money. Shut the fuck up. That's all you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> you good luck, bro. Keep keep doing what you're doing, man. And tell me when you raise $5 million. Tell me when you do, bro. I'm telling you, you right now, I'm going to be paying it back, and I'm going to pay it back faster than any of you fuckers could. So right. keep hey, Mark, you want to learn? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think most people in the space are aware of what Mark's capable of and what he's doing right now. Uh, you know, I think the, the argument has run its course. You guys are just arguing over the same thing, going in circles. Mark's doing what he's doing. You guys are doing what you're doing. It speaks for itself. He's Jay's doing what he's doing. I love he's how their only problem with me, though, is that I'm trying, man. I love that that's their only problem with me. Oh, you guys, you're for trying. any yeah. reason you Let's, can, what percentage hate. have you paid back? Mark is, is a brilliant percent? developer. Chris Harris is a lying talking head on Twitter Spaces. Literally, on, bro. bro. <laughs> Literally, bro. You think <laughs> of percentages, bro. There's, no, con there's no comparison here. There is no comparison here. 5%? Absolutely not. There's absolutely not. I just find it hilarious, bro. You know you're winning, bro. And the only 4%? thing they can say about you is that you're trying, man. Is it like, that's when you know you're fucking winning. Is that when winning. that's when you're, what your haters can say? I can't say shit when, when, other when, than the fact yeah. that you're trying your when best. You want pay that. people when that BB, you can talk what you want, want to do that, and then we. we... When are we going to see a BBTF fund? Why is no one asking that question? 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's the thing. Obviously, Mark, you know I love you. Chris, you know, we're I said it a thousand times. Kind of ran its course. We can come back to it if we want. But TJ is up here. I don't know how long we're going to have him for. We're talking about he source himself. Real quick, let's give at least seven seconds for this intro. He's here. He's alive. The Chris Horace source in flesh. <laughs> TJ, how are you tonight? Good. I don't know if I'm exactly the source, though. Like, I'm kind of the middleman, but I am, a, I guess, in that aspect, I am a source a little bit, too. So you're the keeper of the source. Um, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if Chris is the most hated guy up here because I think the source is probably the most hated guy here in years. So. Well, you invest the maniacs here. Take it easy yeah, with the most one hated. One thing I want to say to TJ real quick, you know, is with, you know, the information that you provided and it didn't work out. But the number one thing with me all along was not to speak about anything involving you because obviously he has a son. And his son was, you know, he was threatened after speaking on my show one time. They had his son's dorm room number. And I was just completely against that. That's just uh, completely below the belt. And uh, that's why I never wanted to speak about uh, him providing this information. Go ahead. Oh, back to me. So I don't know if this... The uh, information was, you know, terribly horrible, but I did say don't tweet it. And then when you wanted to tweet it, I said, well, I can't stop you from tweeting whatever you want to tweet. That's that is true. true. That That's that is true. true. I had a text really? message that you – hold on. Let me speak. No, hey, I'm not going to deny that I texted you that. No, I've already on. said that. I've Let publicly said that. No, listen. I've said no, that you listen. several times. You sent me a text message. No, hey, if you're going to be a little bitch – no, you listen. All right. Nobody's no, being a little bitch. Versus, hold on, guys. Nobody's no, being a little listen. bitch. <laughs> let's let Chris, let guys, let's let Chris. It's not my issue. It's and not my issue. From TJ. Stop let's defending go. Conehead. Listen, he sent a text to me. Okay. Yeah. During I the sent show. a text to you, dude. I hold said, on, don't on. fucking tweet it. You're not letting me finish, man. You're not letting me finish. He he was de- he was sending me text messages during the show, on multiple shows, not just that show. I have sent you some texts. I'm not going to, you know what? I will admit to anything that I've ever done, but you won't. You're a pussy. Okay. I'm a pussy. Okay, Okay, man. I'm a pussy. You're the guy that wants to come forward now and wants to get all this attention, but I'm the pussy. Oh, yeah. You always, you're exactly, you're you're the pussy. Seriously. Dude, look at how many followers I have. I don't even give a shit about it. I don't either. (laughs) That's the funny fucking thing. I know. I don't care. I just hey, Darren's got a new show, check mark. And you want to get all you know all in the mud <laughs> about this shit. But let's call it like it is. He's sending me messages after messages, DMs, text messages, constantly. Say this. This is what's going on. I see this. You know. Then send. I, I said I'm going to tweet out after the show. Sends me a text message of of exactly what he thinks is going on. I copy it and paste it to tweet out, and then. Minutes later, three, four, five minutes later. Oh man, I wouldn't have put that out there. But what's done is done now. You know, so that's, that's you not know, true, you man. know, you always sent, twist things. You twist. I don't things, twist dude. anything, man. You, you do. know exactly you really what do. happened. You didn't send me oh, that yeah, text. I do. You didn't send me that text. What, what text? I told you I wouldn't tweet it, but this is what is going and on see, right now. And see, let me let me put it this way: He wants to come on here and call me a name and all this bullshit. Let me tell you how honorable I've been about this. I never revealed your identity. I never revealed your son's identity. I never well, you revealed don't know his private conversations identity, we had. Excuse me. You just want to no, come up here and talk me, shit. excuse me, dude. Seriously. Like, you you want to come, come, come up to here and talk Vermont? shit? Huh? You want to come to Vermont, dude? Come to Vermont. Oh, no. no. Don't go there, TJ. TJ, you don't want, go there. Yeah, you want to challenge me now, man. I just laugh, man. Dude, I would make you my fucking bitch. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. DK, don't go there. You, you gotta keep the same. Patron, dude, I've Mark, always, Chris. I've always respected Patron, but seriously, just stop. Because Chris is fucking out of line. No, 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 no. you out of line, line dude. dude. No, no, TJ, let's come call, on, man. Let's call it like it is. Please, let's talk about the away. facts here. After you wanted to, you know, go with, come at me because you didn't agree with me with a, a, a disagreement with Darren. 
you know, you kept coming at me and I blocked you. I just said, I'm done with you. I cut you off. And yeah, you but you, you've done that to everybody oh, since like oh, fucking day one. And I just got sense. sick of it. And Darren's a great dude. Like you start I'm sending me messages, you. you start sending me messages, you know, calling me names and all this shit. And I didn't even respond to it, man. I just blocked you, moved on. Number gone. DM's gone. Not talking to you. Your response was, oh, man, now you're putting me in with the FUD crew. You were all pissed off. I just ended it. I said, I wasn't pissed to... off. I was actually, listen, you want to know the truth? I was relieved. No, I just yeah, okay. Yeah. And so you was... fucking woke me up to say you, that you launched me. So, that's so there cool. was nothing. But listen, to... listen. No, you listen. listen. You listen. No, 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 no. You listen, I'm finishing dude. my point. You can listen. No, you no, want to no, come up here and you want to call point, me names. Dude. You want to tell me to come right to Vermont. Now I figure people have no. questions for me. So let's just hit some questions. You know, Bro, like, we don't I'm want, not no, nobody has you, questions dude. for you. Why do you think you're so fucking important? You haven't been right about one fucking thing, man. Not one. You've been well, right about one thing. But you know what I did? I pre- Here's what we'll do. We're going to we're going to commence the argument. And we're also going to open up a Q&A for TJ. If anybody wants to ask the source himself yeah. any questions, feel free to come up. Feel free to raise your hand. He smart's he, got his hand up. You got a question the- for the source? Yeah, I do have a I do have a question for TJ. TJ, hey, can man, you talk about bullshit? So no, I'm gonna it's, head it's, out. It's, it's, it's fine, Chris. Um, I don't want you to fucking you know, if guys yeah, want to come on. Yeah, no, Chris wants to run. No, no, uh, no, no, uh, uh, uh. I'm not even a girl. Come see me. Running this time. Shut the fuck up. You shut the talk. Hey, can I ask Chris I something talk. before he goes? Hey guys, talk. can I talk to Chris you for a minute? You're hard. You're not hard, man. Can I talk to Chris right. for a minute? You want all this fucking yeah. Dude, yeah. You, go call, go you call everybody not hard. You have no fucking idea who I am and what the fuck I would do to you. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to come on a? You want to come on a Twitter space and threaten me? Well, we're sound gonna like do a little kid, man. Well, we're gonna you do sound a, like a little kid. Hey, I just, bro, you brought gonna... up his son, dude. That's not chill. Wait a second. We're gonna go to crypto control. And then uh, I have I have a quick something I'd, I'd like to say, too. Go ahead, Crypto. Hey, uh, so for one, I, I do have a, a certain amount of respect for Chris. The person that said I brought up his son, I didn't bring up his son in any negative context. And we can play the recording. I'm okay. about doxing him. Excuse me? You were talking not, about doxing his son. I did not dox his son. You're lying. No, you're talking about. You were saying you're a good guy because you haven't doxed his son. Dox That's his what son. you were saying. In fact, your yeah. boy Matt asked me earlier in the show where his location was, and I said I'm not providing that information. Dude, yeah, I promise like you don't have his information, that. man. I can promise you that right now. My location is different from his location, so. Dude, it doesn't my location is different me. from I, Matt's location too, dude. No one knows where Matt is. I don't speak about your location. I don't care about your location. I don't give a shit. Okay? You don't no, know it either. I'm, the only I'm reason I have you guys playing no, your game. You just, you just, uh, I'm going to open mine up. Have a good night. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> question. One wait, last that's so No way, bro. A, a, a power to always run. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, crypto control, bro. Dude, that can't, yeah, gonna, don't even worry about it, though, because every time you brought up a legitimate question, dude. He never let me just say let me just say this then because I really wanted to ask him this. Hey crypto, yeah. You motherfuckers. You honestly listen. Just, dude, no, that was all you guys. That you guys kept muting him over and over again. Can mute oh, everyone. You, you know you can mute people I individually. Give everyone the floor for about three hours straight, and then I was gonna deliver the final blow and kick him, and I was gonna say, Chris Harris, you're launched. And it was going to be fucking fabulous. <laughs> you guys fucked it all up. He's too intelligent Fuck. for that, man. You got to launch. Hey, can I just? Can I, yeah, can I just say, like, I love you guys.